This next book is one that kind of hits me a little close to home, um, or at least my younger self, and it is called Curvy Girls Can't Date Quarterbacks. It is by Kelsey Stelting. I don't really remember where I got uh, word of this book to review uh, from her. It might have been in some Facebook group I was in. I can't remember. But I'm really glad that I read this book. It is, not, the premise itself is not special, but it is the first in a series called The Curvy Girls Club, uh, which is she, I think the next book is even coming out like a month after this one. So it's, she's cranking it out pretty, pretty fast. The basic premise is a curvy girl, obviously. She uh, gets into a bet with one of those, you know, mean girl, clickish types at her school, where she thinks that she cannot date the popular quarterback of the school, which also happens to be her ex-boyfriend. So the main character takes that bet. And she doesn't know how she's going to do it, but there are three or four, I think there's three, three other, three or four other, I can't remember, three or four other girls that are also kind of curvy that come alongside of her and say, look, we need a win for the curvy girls, let's do this. And they start helping her figure out how they're go how she's going to date this quarterback. What's the stakes? There are some, but I don't totally remember. I don't know if it's really important what the okay. stakes are. It might be like, just pride. <laughs> you know, the mean girl is, is like, she's, she's kind of cruel, you know? She will say things that are just not complimentary at all. It, I am always for putting mean girls in their place. I'm sorry, it sounds bad, but every single time I've watched a show or a movie or read a book that had one of those mean clickish girls in it, I'd be just like, somebody, somebody stop her. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, that's why I couldn't watch some shows too long. Um, so this is this seems like it's going to be a really good one, it's especially because she gets she gets a guy, but I don't know if she's getting the guy for the right reasons, which might. Well, and that is a whole thing. Like, when I say this is, you know, not, this is not a new plot line, you can see it coming. What happens when he realizes that he's part of a bet? What happens? And that, I think, is a really important plot point. It is a little different. And uh, also, like most of these stories, the quarterback isn't just a quarterback. You know, he's other things. And so I think that also lends itself to be interesting as well. So at the end of this book, I think the main character has said, like, she thinks these girls are only going to be friends with her to get her through the bet, and then they're not really going to be friends, because this was the only thing that was uniting them. So most of the time, she is terrified that something's going to happen where these girls are no longer her friends, and she's not going to have friends anymore, because she's kind of like a studious type that just focuses on her stuff. But, as, as you can probably tell, they do stay together. The second book is about a different character in the club, which I was like really excited about because it was a character that through this entire book, she, the author was building her up to have issues, but you never really could understand where those issues were coming from. There are a couple times where she would like just lay a little bit of nugget of this is what's going on in this girl's life, but they never really fully address it, but they're going to in the second book. So I thought that was a really good way to kind of carry the line through it. I thought that was really interesting. I gave this book four stars mostly because uh, there were a couple instances in this book where I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Did you just, like, did this part just get thrown in as a catalyst for something else? Because the reasoning behind it, I can't even really explain why, but the reasoning behind certain things happening in this book were not fully explained um, in, in a way that I felt good about it. Teenage hormones. No, actually it had to do with the adults in the book, teenage not the hormones. teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, I thought it was a good book and I actually, I really enjoyed reading it. But honestly, yeah, I, I thought the book itself was just really great and I gave it four stars. If you want to see any more about it, go ahead and comment below. But until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.